Welcome back to another reaction video, man. I said welcome back to another reaction video, man. We got something new, but not nothing too old, but right in the middle, man. Today, 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 we got another crazy reaction. Another crazy story, okay? Um, I just, I just really hate to bring this, this type of topics, man. It's, it just gets sadder every day, man. We got a woman that killed her husband. Um... Or boyfriend, and uh, I mean it's 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 the it's the most topic thing, the most hottest topic right now. If you didn't know about it, uh, I know nothing about the story. I don't know who this couple is. I just know the girlfriend killed um, her her boyfriend, her husband, whoever the guy was to her. Rest in peace to that guy. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm finna get get straight into it. I only got two minutes on the video, man. It's not a long video. It's going to be a quick, easy video today. Let's get straight to it. Well, now police making an arrest four months after a man was stabbed to death in a Miami apartment. Officers taking the victim's OnlyFans model girlfriend into custody, saying she's the one that killed him. Local 10's Rosh Lowe joins us live from Miami with the disturbing developing details. Rosh. She all back to beating him and stuff, man. This case will come down to one thing, and it will be fascinating to see this play out. Was this a case of self-defense or not? The video, say prosecutors, shows Courtney Clinton punching her boyfriend, Christian Obamselli, in a private elevator heading to their luxury apartment in Edgewater. It's not even hitting her. How Just over a month later, me? prosecutors say Clenny stabbed Obamselli to death. The knife entered Christian's chest in a downward angle to, to the depth of three inches. Clenny goes by the name Courtney Taylor on social media. She is an OnlyFans model who had millions of followers. The arrest warrant spells out ah, a tumultuous so she, so she relationship viral. with domestic violence on both sides. Their building staff and security documented so many incidents of arguments that management was moving to evict them on the day in question, April 3rd. Okay, so we're not going to put the pressure all on her, but at the same time, we is, okay? Um, I was reading the comments in this, like... People's people crazy, man. People saying that he should have never dated a white girl and all this other stuff. Like the race don't got nothing to do with it. You know, it's dick that anybody could have done this, you know. But that's not the, that's the, we're not gonna get into that category. We're gonna talk about this right now. Um We don't really know what a really deep in a relationship really is, but we're going based off the elevator, okay? The elevator situation, what we just seen. He's not hitting her at all. You feel me? And like we in elevators, we don't think there's cameras in there. So in my, so in my head, I'm thinking that everything we see in the elevator, he was just protecting himself. Because if he was really beating on her and all of that, he would have just body slammed her right there or just hit her right there, knowing there's nobody around, you know? Why hesitate? There's nobody around. So the fact that he didn't do that, it gives me the, uh, the mindset of thinking that he's not, you know, just beating her at the crib. Maybe he just... I don't know, maybe maybe he's maybe he's just doing something mentally that's that's messing with her and she just had her breaking point. And uh she started beating on him. A lot of these females feel like if so this I, I peeped this a lot and I see a lot of females, if they really, really love you and really care for you and all this other stuff, and they don't want to leave you, no matter what, you could be cheating on them in 4K, you could be messing with their sister in 4K. If they really love you and they don't want to leave you. It's gonna it's gonna start getting toxic. That's when a toxic relationship comes. They're not gonna leave you. So now they hate you so much inside, but love you at the same time. They gonna react. They're they gonna re, they're gonna take their emotions and react in a different form. They're gonna start beating on you, destroying your stuff. You know, acting crazy, acting wild, because they mentally broken from whatever you did to them. Okay, um, that's one thing I can say. People is crazy. But this, she's, she's not just doing this for no reason. You know, it got to be something. Something. But at the same time, we're not going to get to this. We're not going to stop the fact that she's killed this gen, that she killed this man. Um, and then the guy talking about self-defense. But that's not self-defense. He clearly, they in elevator, is pushing her away from her. And she's slapping him, all kind of shit. Like, you got to calm down, my man. You got to calm down. You, these females is getting outrageous with this... Putting their hands on uh, males and stuff. It's getting crazy. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, I feel like the only way a female should ever do that if the man is put in, it's, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be a fight back. And you should only hit them if you had like a life or death situation type, like you feel like you finna die. Then you start, you know, doing what you gotta do. But if it ain't that situation, man, I feel like you shouldn't be hitting no males. Males shouldn't be hitting no females. Like y'all gotta, y'all gotta do better, man. Let's get back to it. Prosecutors say Clenny called her mom, who was on the phone at the time of the incident, they say. In the call to 911, Obamselli can be heard saying he is dying, and Clenny saying, I'm so sorry, baby. But it gives restored hope that even though delayed, justice will still come. Detectives spent months looking into whether or not this was a case of self-defense. Clenny said she was thrown to the ground. Cops say there was no physical evidence of this. Clenny also said she threw a knife at Obamselli from 10 feet, according to police. But the medical examiner's office said a knife thrown at this distance would not have caused the fatal wound. In the arrest warrant, Clenny tells police, quote, I do not think that this was, I don't know. I really don't know if this was justified at all. Clenny has been charged with second degree murder. Okay. It's important to point out, so although we charged. stress that video and the state stresses the video, they say that is only a piece of the overall puzzle here. And you heard me mention the other areas of their concern. As far as Clenny goes, she is still in Hawaii awaiting her first appearance in court. She is expected to waive extradition and will appear in court here in South Florida in the upcoming days. Of course, we'll follow this case for you. For now, we are live outside the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Okay, y'all. Um, that's all we got for that video, man. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that, man. Let me know uh, what y'all thoughts and opinion on the um, this video like do y'all think it was really self-defense like i said we really don't know what happened in the inside of the relationship he could really could have been beating her or he really could just been cheating on her or did something mentally wise and she didn't like it and then she took her own anger out in her own hands physically you know so we really don't know um all we know like i said all we can go based off is the elevator the elevator video that we've seen that's all we got that's all we can't go based off so based off the elevator scene it doesn't look like he's he beat on her, doesn't look like none of that. It looked like she was just mad about something and she took it out on him. He was um, he was defending himself, trying to push her away from her, all of that. Because like I told y'all, if he really wanted to, he could have just backhand her, he could have slammed all of that in the elevator, you know? Uh, but he did it. So uh, we don't really know what really is going on. They said they're going to get more into the story. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to let them do their work and we're going to find out. And then we're going to react to it. And we're going to see what happened then. <clears throat> I love you boys and girls. Don't forget to comment. More reactions you guys want me to react to. Um, see, I see some of y'all comments, man. Y'all test me time off some. Ah, uh, he, he, he talked too much in the videos. This is a reaction video. This is not a full-blown video where you can just sit back and chill and watch popcorn with no pause or no ads. This is a reaction channel, guys. For the, for, the, for the boys and girls that don't really understand what this channel is, it's a reaction channel. It's when I react to videos and I give my personal opinions. If you guys did not understand that, okay? I still love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys, okay? But guys, y'all got to work with me, bro. It's a reaction channel. I got to get my opinion. That's the whole point of it, okay? I mean, okay, I, I, I can work with you. I can cut down on the pauses. I can cut down on the less talking. And that's what y'all want. And that's what y'all want me to do. I can I can stop talking so much and stop pausing. That's fine. Anything for my family, man. If y'all, that's what y'all want me to do, I got y'all, man. I just thought y'all be wanting to hear what I got to say, man. But I got y'all, man. That's what y'all want me to do, man. Okay? But uh, I love you guys. Catch y'all in the next vid. Don't forget, man. Always, always, whatever you want to do, bro. Whatever you want to do. Get up and do it. And that, that, and that's, that's if you want to work out. That's it. If you want to be an actor, anything you want to do, go do it. And like I said, I'm not even up yet. I'm still low when I'm saying this. You feel me? I, I, I want to be, be the next Kasanak. I want to be the next DDG. You know? So I'm trying to get there as most as most possible I can. You know? So that's why I said I'm, I'm posting videos every day. Two days off, five days videos. Okay? Five videos. Okay? Every day. So I love you guys. Catch time that's it. We out.